So the first thing you're going to do is put your transparency on the projector, turn it on, move it back, position it. You can turn the dial to make it really clear. And then you're going to use a 6B pencil and go ahead and trace all of your lines. Uh, go slow, take your time. This is crucial for laying in the foundation of your painting. And again, make sure you're using a 6B pencil because you will be applying a wash over this and you want the pencil to show through. When you're done tracing, you can bring it over to the paper cutter and trim um, some of the excess paper off if you need to. If you don't feel comfortable doing this yourself, um, I'm happy to help you with this process. And then from here, what I'll have you do is take it and tape it directly to a drawing board. And it will actually stay on the drawing board for the rest of the project until we're finished and we'll take it off. So make sure you tape down all the edges and sides so it stays on the board really good. So when you're doing the fixative, just make sure your art is either in the rocks or you can go over on the grass. The shape of this fixative is pretty good, like hairspray or spray paint. And then you want to spray it all over your entire drawing to seal it in. And then once you're done, give it about 10 minutes to dry and then you can move on to the next step. Now after your drawing is dry, make sure you wait at least 10 minutes from fixing it. You are going to apply a wash over your entire paper. So I'm using a magazine piece here and I decided on a green wash for this. So I'm using a little bit of yellow, a little bit of blue, and I'm mixing that together to create my green. Now I don't need a lot of paint here because I'm actually going to be mixing in water. So in the blue cup, I just have nice clean water. It hasn't been tinted from paint. Um, it's fresh and then I'm going to take a little bit of that water bring it into my brush so that the paint is more watered down so here I'm putting the brush directly in the water and then from there applying it to my paper now notice how I keep dipping the brush back into the water and bringing that on my paper so this wash again is is very transparent see-through you should see all of your pencil lines coming through um, and again, continuing to water it down. And the key to having that fixed is so you don't, your drawing doesn't smudge on you during this process. After you're finished washing the entire thing, you are going to let it dry completely. At this step, or at this point as well, make sure your name is somewhere on here. You could write it with Sharpie or pencil along the tape or in the corner of your paper. So again, just make sure you're mixing lots and lots of water. Notice how I've hardly even taken more of the paint. I'm using a lot of what's on the paper, adding a little, a little bit more as I need to, and then continuing to blend that out with water. And then too, I'll just kind of show you how even through the wash, I can see all of my 6B pencil lines for my painting.